of part two. Patient gets dizzy, lightheaded, lethargic. No one notices this part because no one really examines this patient. Paramedics get nervous and the heart rate's 50 and the blood pressure is 80 or 50. After this, after the patient had been given all these blood pressure medicines, his old medicines they hadn't taken for a long time, right? Like almost nine months. And the medicine that the, uh, the doctor gave, nifedipine. So Harvey was in the 50s, people, they got nervous, they gave atropine and they gave him a bolus of fluid, only 300 cc's went in. I see the patient, he's lethargic. He sounds heavy tongued. And I can't barely understand his name, but I think he tried to say his name. I had him smile. And he had a right facial droop. Exams don't lie. It spared his forehead, so it wasn't Bell's palsy. Likely he had hypotension, hyperperfusion of his circulating system that induced a stroke. He could move his arms and legs, but he was coughing up and he had to get suctioned. He has new dysarthria, slurred speech, and a facial droop. Now I gotta do damage control, maintain, restore his blood pressure to normal, and confirm the cat, uh, the stroke with the CAT scan and MRI, and get a stroke console. No bueno.